Hey guys, Joe here with Dogfish Tackle. A while ago we did a video on how to properly fight a fish straight up and down, bottom fishing, vertical. The easiest way to apply the most amount of pressure to a fish, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to solve a lot of problems because we see them come in here day in, day out. People say, well, I got my butt whooped on a big fish. You find out what rod and reel they're fighting on. They're like, there's no reason you should be getting your butt whooped. And then you talk to them, you find out how they're holding their rod and reel. And they could have been fishing 10 plus years bottom fishing, 30 plus years bottom fishing, and have been doing it wrong the entire way. I myself did that until I was taught the proper technique. So this way, we want to show you how to avoid getting your butt kicked bottom fishing, and also how to avoid breaking the top of your rod off, high sticking it. So let me get right down to the basics. Some do's and don'ts of bottom fishing offshore. Please. Do not go buy a fighting belt because you got your butt kicked on a big grouper and you think that a fighting belt is going to help you apply more pressure to the fish. It's not. It's only going to work against you. Let me show you why and let me show you how. So first off, you'll notice if I, okay, let me scoot this out so we get into the camera. If I am holding a rod in a fighting belt, fighting belt's going to go straight here. So we're going to put a fighting belt on. If I'm going to put a ton of pressure onto a fish using a fighting belt without breaking the top of my rod, I'm going to have to stay humped over because in all reality, when I am bottom fishing and we're straight up and down, my rod should never go past this point. It should be a straight plank, like a straight board. Okay. If I'm going up here, now what I'm doing is I am having to put all the pressure on my lower back for, to avoid high sticking this rod. So I'm having to lean over to keep it here. The other thing that you'll notice that I'm doing, no matter where I'm grabbing the foregrip of this rod is, I will be pushing down on my own arm. When you're reeling down in your downward stroke, you're going to be pushing down on your own bicep. Okay, That's not... Most people are typically right-handed okay so if you're a right-handed person you're pulling up with your weaker arm to begin with and then you're going to push down on it with your stronger arm you're fighting yourself plus you're in this horrible position to try not to break this break the rod so what you'll have a lot of times is people don't bend over like that then they're fighting a grouper off their hip or they're fighting a grouper out of the 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 um, fighting belt and we're doing this now look where the rod's bent we're not bending anywhere on the rod where we want to bend we're only bending the top of the rod okay this is our dogfish stick 15h one of the best grouper rods that we have ever built hands down period and you can apply so much more pressure to the fish using the proper technique so let me just quickly show you what you really want to do is stand as if you were if you're right-handed like if you were going to throw a punch with your right hand so we're gonna put our left leg which is our lead leg we're gonna put that out in front of us so what I'm gonna do real quick I'm gonna switch positions so you can really see this you can see how the rod and reel is being tilted so what we're gonna do is we are going to put our left leg out in front of us we're gonna put this rod underneath our right arm a lot of people feel more comfortable putting the rod underneath this arm in bottom fishing but what's gonna happen here is once again this is my left arm this is my weaker arm and then we're gonna be pulling on the fish so you can get the rod how you want you can lean back and put pressure you can get that rod nice and even how you want but you can't put that much pressure on this fish plus you're gonna be reeling down on your own arm again you can only do this for so long you're only gonna be able to put so much pressure on a fish this way what we want to do we want to cross this over our body okay same thing it's just like in anything, you know, in, in any sort of fight or anything like that. People make jokes about, oh, it's MMA fishing. Well, in a certain, it, it is. I mean, you want to get your butt kicked by a big fish and go home and tell your friends, oh, I missed them, I didn't catch them because you got your butt kicked because you were fighting a fish wrong. Or do you want to whoop his butt and catch him, get the picture with that fish of a lifetime? This is what we want to do. We want to avoid that. So what we want to do is we want to put our left lead, lead leg out in front of us, and we want to put this rod underneath our right arm. My left arm is going to be locked into my side so it is locked here I'm gonna point my shoulder towards the rod you can see that my shoulder is more pointed I'm more focused looking at this camera standing this direction but I'm actually fighting a fish this way my right leg is facing that direction my lead leg is kind of quartered out a little bit and what we're gonna do is we will reel down and you can see I am not putting any muscle into this at all my arm is holding it here it can't go nowhere this arm is locked right here into my stomach you can see it can't go nowhere now what I'm going to do is just tilt my body. I'm going to rock my body this way and lean my weight backwards so I'm not having to use any muscle. And this right here, this is a big two pounds a foot Moonlighter cast net right here. It's a 24 pound cast net. You can pick this straight up off the bottom with our rod and you can see. Look how much pressure I'm putting on that. You can see where the rod was bent during that. And you can apply that with a whole heck of a lot less effort. 
That's how you properly fight a fish. The rod never lifts up and down, like, you know, past that 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock position. You're going from a 6 to a 10 o'clock position. That's where you're going, 6 to 10, when you're straight up and down fishing. You get higher than that 10 o'clock, that's when you're inverting the rod tip. Don't need to go into some of the other do's and don'ts, but please, people, for the love of God, if you put a rod between your legs, okay, you are not putting that much pressure on the fish. Even if you are leaning on it, you got to lay it on the gunnel and you're doing this, who wants to hold this thing sideways and squish unmentionables? You know, there's no reason to be doing that. I could, no reason, okay? We don't, we don't need to go there. There's no reason to be doing that. We don't put the rod between our legs. We can apply way more pressure being a smaller guy, bigger guy, what have you, doing it this way. This is the proper technique. Now, you'll see one thing that I like to do here when I am putting the rod like this, slightly tilt this rod to the side. Now, you're going to hear people say, well, you're inverting it, you're going against the spline. Look, not that many people work for Circus Olay, so I can't bend over and touch my heels. We get that. Rods are spline. I can bend over and I can touch my toes, and I can rock from side to side, right? That's what we're going to do. I can bend over like this and touch my toes. That's all we're doing with this rod. Same concept, okay? We are taking this rod, tilting it a little bit, so now instead of being able to push on my own arm and put more pressure, I'm just collecting, right? Reel down, and I'm collecting. You can see if I put it in a free spool, you know, you're just collecting line, slightly like that, and then leaning back. And how I like to really start is uh, just like that, you know, I got it in a 10 o'clock position, start getting that bite, we're getting the rod tip nice and low down into that 6 o'clock, and then you are sweeping nice and up while you're reeling and collecting line. You're not setting the hook, you're reeling straight up and down, putting the pressure on the fish, getting tight to them. And then once I get that fish coming up off the bottom with this technique, I like to squeeze my leg over the gunnel and stay in the same position. But now the rod's over here and all I got to do is just set my hand right here and do the same thing, lean back. Best way, you put a ton of pressure on there. Please leave a comment. We hope that this helps you. This, this has helped me tremendously over the years. It's helped a ton of people that we've taught. People come in, in, in here day in, day out, and we help them out with this. And we really want to see you catch those big fish of a lifetime. We hate hearing those sad stories about how we all got our butt kicked. It's, it sucks. We don't like talking about it, but it happens. This way, hopefully, it doesn't happen to you that much. Um, feel free. Leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us and give us a like on Facebook. Thanks.